Welcome back to the Maths Guy. We are looking today at how to divide a fraction by a whole number. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we actually have two methods we're going to look at today. You might have seen either of these before, but we're going to go through them both quite comprehensively. So let's just look at the steps that we're going to follow. First, we're going to convert the whole number to a fraction. This is an important step for both of the techniques that we could use today. Then we're going to butterfly or we're going to KFC and we'll see what that means in a minute and then simplify when needed. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one then together. We have three divided by one quarter and my first step says to convert the whole number, the three, into a fraction. And I'm going to link a video here that explains this stage a little bit clearer, which is finding equivalent fractions. But what we should know is that three could also be shown in fraction form as just three over one because three over one is basically saying three holes same as saying three then we'll divide it by our quarter again and we're ready for step two now step two says to butterfly or to kfc so i'm going to show you the butterfly technique first and the butterfly technique works like this i'm going to look at my fractions and i'm simply going to circle the numerator from the first fraction and the denominator from the second but instead of dividing i'm now going to multiply because i'm now on the other side of the fraction line and then put the answer to this as our numerator so three times four would be 12 and then i'm simply going to finish my butterfly and you can see why it's called the butterfly now it looks a little like a butterfly or it looks like a multiplication symbol to help you remember it's the multiply and then one times don't forget one equals put it as my denominator, one. And again, we can see that this is now an improper fraction with a top heavy numerator. So I can convert this into a mixed number, which actually ends up at just being 12 because 12 divided by one is 12. So my answer to three divided by one quarter equals 12. Okay, but I promised you a different method. Now let's have a look at the KFC method. The KFC stands for keep, flip, and change. So what do these refer to? Well, let's write our question down here again. But we know that first we must convert our whole number to a fraction. So let's put our three over one multiplied by one quarter. So my keep refers to keeping this first fraction. I'm not gonna do anything to this first fraction. My flip refers to the second fraction. I'm gonna flip my fraction upside down and then I'm gonna change and this means change the symbol and I'm going to change it to multiply. So if you think about it, we're actually doing exactly the same as the butterfly technique, but just another way of remembering it. Now I can just multiply across my question. Let's do our numerators first. Three times four equals 12. One times one equals one. 12 over one is 12. Same answer, but just a different method. Okay, let's look at a red chili challenge then. Let's have a look at our five divided by eight sevenths and what you can see also is that our eight seventh is actually an improper fraction we have a bigger numerator than we do denominator that is not a problem for these kind of questions in fact if you're ever dividing by a mixed number you will end up having to convert the mixed number into an improper so that you can begin but we just have our improper now so we can just begin so i'm going to do my butterfly technique for this first things first convert our whole number into a fraction by simply putting it over one keeps it equivalent and shows it in its fraction form and then i'm going to start my butterfly start with the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second remember to multiply so the answer to my numerator would be five times seven five times seven is 35 now I can do the denominator of the first fraction and the numerator of the second. One times eight is eight. Bring that over to the answer. One times eight is eight. Again, I have an improper fraction. We don't wanna leave it as an improper. So I'm simply gonna find out how many whole eights I have in 35. So I could go up in my multiplication table, eight, 16, 24, 32. I get to 32 with four sets, but I have three left over, so I have three eighths. So my answer is four and three eighths. Let's quickly check that with our keep, flip, and change our KFC. So first things first, five over one, divided by eight over seven. 
First, I'm going to keep my 5 over 1, then I'm going to flip my 8 over 7 and turn it into 7 over 8. Then I'm going to change the symbol from division to multiplication. And now I can simply begin. 5 times 7 is 35. 1 times 8 is 8. Again, improper. So to convert it to mixed number, I need to find out how many holes 8, how many hole 8s are in 35. And we agreed there were 4 with 3 eighths remaining. Same answer. And there we go. That is everything you need to know about dividing a fraction by a whole number. Things to remember, first turn the whole number into a fraction. Then we can use one of two methods, the KFC or the butterfly method. And then we're going to simplify or convert our fraction back to a whole number if necessary. OK, here are four questions for you. Have a go at answering these. Take your time. Put the answers in the comments section. So press pause. Good luck. There you go, guys. Well done. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be learning loads. Peace out.